mother of seven kids, seven kids. I had my first child at 14 years old. Yes, I had my first child at 14 years old. I do not regret it. He is well, healthy, and he's 19 right now. God, praise God. Yes, you guys, I have seven kids, seven different baby daddies. Yeah, seven different baby daddies. I heard it. You heard it right, right here. Seven different baby daddies, seven kids. Had my first child at age 14. Yes, and I do receive 3K, 3,000 in EBT food stamps. Notice how she keeps saying yes, because she thinks that's a pertinent thing to say. People, today is the 17th, is it? I'm, yes, the 17th of July, 2024. What I've been saying for years now is black women will take successful black women is lo, the, a, a new level of dumb. Let me say that again. Successful black women is a new level of dumb. Next year, you're gonna be hearing about women saying, yes, my son is eight years old and I have sex with him. Yes, yes, it, it, I know he ain't burning. I know he ain't gonna give me nothing. Let us continue listening to some more. Yes, 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 yes. We are so yes, happy. Yes, yes. We are so blessed. We are very thankful. Yes, we are happy where we're at in life right now. We are happy. Yes, we are happy. Yes, yes, yes. Um, like I said, it's gonna be haters, you know, people gonna be jealous and all that. Y'all can keep y'all little comments, but at the end of the day, my kids are taken care of. They're all so what's up, y'all? I told y'all I was gonna hit y'all every morning at 11 a.m. It's 11 a.m. So check this out. When you listen to these women, when you listen to black women, what you're gonna always listen to. It's a new level of dumb. Descending is success for a black woman, not ascending. Ascend to new heights? No. When you de descending is the new high for black women. Now, 10 years ago, that woman would have never made that video. She had the kids. Could she show us what she, could she show us 10 years ago when she said, yes, I had a baby at 14. Yes, I was giving out ass. Yes, I, I get 1200 a month in food stamps. I'm sure it was a different number at the time. All right, what, did she do a video then? Of course she didn't do a video then. The reason why she didn't do a video then is because Black women was on some old independent thing strong. Black women's str uh, uh, level of strong was independent success moving forward. Then something happened. Women start getting spoiled. The feminist movement hit a new height where they have now said, when it comes to you being a woman, be free. Be yourself. Have 20 kids by 20 different men. If a man don't accept you for who you are, love yourself. Then all of a sudden, then all of a sudden, we started hearing, yes, you 400, and, you 400 pounds. It don't matter. Love yourself. Uh-uh. Nuh-uh. Live your... And then, then riddles, they start incorporating riddles. Oh, too blessed to be stressed, living my best life and I'm not a wife, all these dumb riddles. And then women start having to say, well, if I believe in myself, I love myself, all the mistakes that I made in life, all the mistakes that I made in life are, are now love scars. No, I was out there giving out ass at 13 and got pregnant at 14, but no, that don't mean I'm a bad person. God got me, I'm good. What you heard was a woman constantly saying, yes, yes, like people are going to be like, as if she was talking to somebody, as she, as she was talking to somebody and said, you got seven kids? Yes. You got seven kids. Yes. You got seven kids. Like seven kids by seven different men? Yes. That's why you hear a lot of delusion. I can make a hundred videos off of this one thing. You hear a lot of delusion in this woman's statements, but that's what it gets down to. You're not under circumstances zero. You're not 
gonna find today's black women thinking that being great, uh, humility, uh, ascending to new heights, being better than you were yesterday, nope. A black woman's perspective and a black woman's narrative in 2024 is, 20 years ago, you fucked five guys. Your pussy was good, that's why you fucked five, five guys. 20 years ago, you, 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 you was, you was sucking dick. Well, the CDC said AIDS wasn't as bad back then. So you, you were sucking dick when AIDS wasn't out there bad enough. Black women will always find a new narrative to bring their fucking shame to some good, try to bring their fucking shame to some good light. Who the fuck had seven kids by seven different men? And then she said, oh yes, my kids are taken care of. I bet you if you get in touch with that chick, she'll say, yes, I shit bricks every time they talk about welfare reform. Yep. How the fuck only a black woman is going to, is, excuse me, only a black woman think her success is in a program that they can cut at any time. Only a black woman don't understand, only a black woman don't understand economics to know that welfare the money you get is funded through a program that your municipality can run out of funds and it can end at any time. Only a black woman will think like that. Only a black woman would think like that. So, as I was saying, here's an individual that is bragging about the fact that her existence is hinged upon a program. So she said, yes, my, my kids are healthy yes no they're not no they're not only black women think that you can feed children only a black woman don't understand that your your uh your uh your actions is also feeding a child only a black woman don't understand that only a, and, and she says she had her first kid at 14 she is not an adult only a fucking idiot thinks don't only an idiot only an idiot wouldn't understand your actions is feeding your child. You want an example? Okay. How many times have y'all listened to my videos and I said, I'm my father. I'm an asshole just like my daddy. Just like my father. I'm an asshole. Now, do you ever, do you honestly think my dad sat me down and said, son, be an asshole? No. No, he did not. No, he did not. My dad did not sit me down and say, son, be an asshole. I watched him. It's why I'm going, I'm, go, I'm about to go running right now. I got my headband on. That's why I got I to gotta record this and post it because uh, Wednesdays I do legs. I do legs and core. So I got I to gotta get down on a get down. I got to get some get downs downs. I got to put some downs downs. But anyway, that... I watched my dad, my father. Now, here is another shitty perspective of this female making a claim that she is okay. So I'm gonna run it back for you. Okay, you guys, yes. I am a mother of seven kids, seven kids. I had my first child at 14 years old. Yes, I had my first child at 14 years old. I do not regret it. He is well, healthy, and he's 19 right now. God, praise God. Yes, you guys, I have seven kids, seven different baby daddies. Yeah, seven different baby daddies. I heard it. You heard it right, right here. Seven different Whoa. baby daddies, seven kids. Had my first child at age 14. Yes, and I do receive 3K, 3,000 in EBT food stamps. Yes, yes. So, so check this out. Check this out. Here's a woman, now 34 years old, because she had said she had a kid at 14, so she's 33, 34. So she's still fertile. She's still in the zone of having kids. She says she get 3,000 in food stamps, right? So one would have to ask themselves, how is she, where does she rent her house? Because you have to have a certain amount of rooms per child. That's another video. But what I want to say is, here's a woman 
that is saying that I have three kids, I'm sorry, seven kids by seven different men. Yes, they're healthy, et cetera, et cetera, right? Did I miss my turn? Nope. Okay. Seven kids by seven different men. They're okay. They're healthy. Yes, you heard it right. Now, what? Oh, they put. What they did, what this woman did, first we, here's another video. We got to applaud this woman for making this video. And the reason why we got to applaud this woman for making this video is because this woman is helping lawmakers, exposing to lawmakers the true mentality of these individuals. When they first made the welfare program, women wasn't saying this type of stuff. But this is the perspective and narrative of black women. Black women. Every year, you're going to hear, last year was the, the, the peaking of sexy red. This year, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a new idiot making a claim that she is living good because she got seven kids by seven different men and she getting $3,000 a month in, in, in food stamps. This is just where we at now. This is black women. 